Casinos are not just for gamblers. They just might be a place where you can have a lot of fun at an affordable price, if you know where to go. Welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna share a pretty interesting idea about a place where you can have fun, a great destination that has decent entertainment, pretty good dining, and possibly could be one of the more affordable options that you're gonna find depending on where you live. Now, many people think about Las Vegas as a great, enjoyable place to have a great time, a lot of diverse activities there, a lot of variety of things to do and, and places to see. And definitely, if you haven't been to Las Vegas, you should go, I've been there, it's great, I loved it. And again, can't recommend Vegas enough. However, there may be another option that you might want to consider, uh, depending on where you live and how expensive it is for you to get there and how close you live to this place. But it's another option that might be significantly cheaper than Vegas. And that place is Atlantic City, New Jersey. myself personally do not gamble but if you're just in general trying to have fun looking for something different a diversion from your everyday life definitely consider Atlantic City New Jersey and I'm gonna tell you several options in Atlantic City that I think you're gonna enjoy several things to do places to go things to see and do and eat and it's gonna be an alternative to Vegas but I'll be it I'll admit 100%, it's not as expansive and as diverse as Vegas, and it's not the same spectacle, but again, in exchange for that subdued uh, you know, spectacle that is Atlantic City, it's, it's much more subdued compared to Vegas, you're gonna possibly get access to Atlantic City and all it has to offer for a pretty decent price compared to Las Vegas. Now, Atlantic City, New Jersey is comprised of, uh, it's, a, it's a city right by the ocean in New Jersey, and there's a group of casinos that make up the Atlantic City uh, casino resort areas. In this video, I'm just gonna talk about a few casinos that I think you might enjoy, and I'm gonna tell you why. First things first, I like Atlantic City or any place that gives me a good variety of things to do without me having to go too far beyond where I am. Sometimes you wanna kinda of stay where you're at and have a decent amount of places to go where you're at. Atlantic City, New Jersey has that, and I'm gonna tell you a casino that you can stay at. And these casinos, most of them have hotel um, hotels attached to them or part integrated into them so that you're basically staying in them. So when I say, a casino, I mean the Casino Hotel Resort. First uh, resort that I'm gonna talk about is the Caesars Resort in Atlantic City, and that includes Bally's and Caesars. Those are gonna give you a pretty diverse and expansive area to play, hang around in, uh, walk around and experience and explore without having to go far because Atlanta, because Caesars owns uh, Bally's and they also own Caesars Palace. They are connected by internal walkways and they don't require you to leave or go outside to travel in between them, which is really nice on very hot days and especially nice because it's New Jersey and it can get pretty cold in the winter you don't have to worry about going out into the winter uh, climate and you know you can basically go from one resort to another all indoors the other great thing about the bally's and caesar's uh, resort complex is 
you can go into these resorts and experience a very diverse, a very different experience when you go from one of the casinos to the other, not one of the resorts to the other. So what I mean by that is Bally's is more of an older uh, casino resort. It, you know, it's probably gonna undergo some significant renovations soon. I, I heard about that, but it's still pretty nice. And you can, and if you can stay there for cheap, you're connected to Caesars and why not go for that? I've done that and I've had a great time. Now, Bally's is gonna provide you with more of an old school vibe. It's not as luxurious, but it's still gonna give you that boardwalk because it's right on the boardwalk, right on the beach, and not all the casino resorts are located on the boardwalk on the beach. So Bally's and Caesars both are, which is a prime location right in the middle of this strip the Boardwalk Beach Strip in Atlantic City. So if you go north or south of there, you're gonna encounter other casino resorts that you can visit. And every single one of them offers different kind of restaurants and activities. So you're right in the middle of the action uh, in Bally's and Caesar's Palace. Now, when you're in Bally's and you experience that older school vibe, which is still nice, just not as new, uh, you can easily just walk over inside or through the outside uh, by the by the boardwalk you can go into caesar's palace the caesar's palace resort and casino is great because it gives you kind of like a, a little bit of an opposite experience of valleys it's more it's better themed so that it gives you like that roman empire theming complete with the uh the statues the lighting the horses in the front caesar's palace is also good because like Bally's, it offer, and like all of them, they pretty much all offer different restaurants, different show venues, different activities, convenience stores, and not have to worry that you're going there and it's just gonna be a casino. You know, you're not gonna go to these places and be stuck in a casino and be bored if you're not a gambler, but you're still gonna have a lot of fun in Caesar's Palace. The resort is, I would say, pretty clean cleaner than even Bally's. Bally's is not as clean, at least not as clean looking, probably because Bally's is a little older. Caesars Palace, it might be kind of old too, but it looks newer. Plus the theming gives it a, a unique vibe about it that I think looks really, really nice. And it's good that they're both together because if I can get a room at Caesars at a good price, I will. But more often than not, you can almost always get a decent price room at Bally's and you're right next door to Caesars. So you can't go wrong staying at Bally's or Caesars. Right in the middle of the strip, a lot of good dining options um, available to you. If you like buffets, if you like restaurants, if you like uh, convenience stores, uh, definitely these two combined have several options that I think are gonna be fantastic, again, for the money. The other casino I wanna talk about that is really nice is the Tropicana. Now the Tropicana is located to the south, just about a, maybe like a 15 minute walk from Bally's and Caesars Resort. And the Tropicana is awesome too because it also has a kind of a, a nice theming, which I like. I'm sure it's probably not as new as maybe like Borgata, which was a pretty new one, or some of the other ones that I'm gonna mention in later on in this video. But Tropicana has a nice themed atmosphere, complete with a section that has uh, pretend palm trees, a pretend skyline, and they also have very nice, nicely themed restaurants, uh, mostly chain restaurants, but they're pretty nice nonetheless. And again, think about the price here. You're not spending a ton of money like you would in some other places. And if, depending on where you live in the country, you may be able to drive there or get there pretty economically and pretty quickly. So the Tropicana is great. Again, Spanish, um, Cuban theme, tropical theme, tropical paradise theming. It has a beach atmosphere that is a lot of fun and it kind of does put you in a nice state of mind when you're there. The restaurants there, are very nicely themed. One is uh, very clearly Cuban themed, 
complete with uh, an old Chevy car from like the 1950s right in the front. And next door to that, you have Carmine's, which is the famous New York City Italian family style restaurant, which is fantastic as well. I've eaten there numerous times, had a great time. The food is great. The atmosphere is great. I like the service there as well. Everybody's very happy. And again, it's right there in the Tropicana. Again, these casinos offer all of these services and amenities and have these restaurants pretty much on site. You don't have to drive away to another place. It's right there. These destinations put you in very close proximity to pretty much everything else because they're self-enclosed and contain everything you need. You don't have to drive away far away to go to a restaurant or to catch a show. Now, Tropicana has another restaurant, which is P.F. Chang's. P.F. Chang's is great. It's kind of like an Asian fusion uh, cuisine. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what P.F. Chang's is. Nothing special there, but it is nice that it's there. It's a nice restaurant. It gives it a nice ambiance with the, uh, you know, the horses in the front, and it's a nice place. So you got the Cuba Libre restaurant, P.F. Chang's, Carmine's, fantastic restaurants in... Um, in the Tropicana. By the way, I don't want to forget about this restaurant because I'm gonna I'm gonna name it out because it is one of the best restaurants. Uh, I think probably the best restaurant in Bally's and Caesars, and might even and probably is as good or better than anything in Tropicana. And that is in Caesars Palace, the Gordon Ramsay themed restaurant. So it's it's a signature restaurant in Caesars Palace. I'm not sure if it's considered a steakhouse, but they have great steak, great food. A fantastic ambiance and atmosphere. The service is great. It's not cheap, but again, you think about what you're spending overall. I think you're gonna find that compared to like going to like a, a New York City restaurant, this is not gonna be more expensive than that. Maybe even cheaper. Another resort that I want to talk about here that I think is fantastic as well, but unfortunately, I'm not sure how well they're doing economically. But it's a brand new resort, and that is the the Ocean Resort in the northern part of the beach, uh, the boardwalk area. So this is gonna be, I think it's like the very north, northernmost casino. So you have to walk. So if, if you're staying at Bally's or Tropicana, it's probably maybe another 20 minute walk or 25 minute walk, something like that, uh, north. So that's gonna be probably the most northern casino and it's the Ocean Resort is great because it's brand new resort Brand new meaning it was probably, it probably was constructed in the last 10 years or so, but it's still, it used to be Revel and they, and they had financial problems. It closed down for a while. Then it reopened once again, kind of reimagined. Uh, and it's now called the Ocean Resort in, uh, again, in Atlantic City, right on the boardwalk, but everything in it is brand new. That's why I like it. I like it because it's brand new. The restaurants in there are, not any restaurants that I really have uh, heard of before, uh, but I'm sure maybe you guys have heard of it. They have uh, um, Donnie Wahlberg has a restaurant there that kind of bears his name where it's like a burger place, but I'm sure it's a fancy burger place. Pretty nice looking. I think it's called Wahlburgers or something, but I'll put it up on the screen so that you could um, check it out, look it up, see, see what you think about it. And they have a couple of other restaurants and places to eat that I think you're gonna enjoy. The ambiance is pretty good. They have this uh, Mexican place there that is pretty nice as well. And overall, it's a brand new resort. Everything smells like new in there. It's just a nice place to go, get a room during the middle of the week uh, and just hang out, have coffee, relax. You can, uh, in, you can even work there. There's seating in a lot of places, unlike some of the other resorts. This resort has a lot of places to like kind of lounge in a more secluded spot and just hang out with your laptop or your iPad and just relax, get some work done. The entire resort is blanketed by a Wi-Fi that uh, I guess if you stay there, you can get access to that Wi-Fi and you can get work done and still be away from your house, having fun, just spicing things up in your life a little bit without hopefully spending a lot of money, which is again, the whole point of this video. And another place that I wanna mention that I think is pretty nice is the Hard Rock. Now the Hard Rock is located not too far from Revel, it's kinda of right next door, 
and it is uh, also a newly renovated resort that is awesome. It's uh, pretty much all brand new inside. They, they redid it, renovated it recently, converted it from, I believe it was called the Taj Mahal, the Trump Taj Mahal, and now they kind of redid it and Hard Rock, I guess, bought the rights to it or bought into that place and now they converted it into a Hard Rock resort, casino and resort, and it is great. The hotel is great. The the buffet was great when you could when you, when you had access to it. Obviously now it's closed uh, for the time being, but the restaurants there are pretty nice. And again, everything smells new, smells great. The ambiance is nice. And a little bit about the ambiance, I would say the Hard Rock is the most youthful ambiance. So it's got more of a younger crowd uh, as compared to some of the other resorts that I mentioned, whereas. Bally's would probably contain a little bit of an older crowd, uh, but they're all they're all a mix. But I would say if I had to if I had to really um, be a little more precise, I would say uh, Hard Rock has the younger uh, crowd, whereas Bally's has a little bit of an older crowd. But uh, the other resorts, uh, Tropicana and Caesars, they're kind of like a like a 50-50 mix. But again, these resorts, all great resorts. And by the way. Bally's and, and Caesars are owned by the same company, which is Caesars Entertainment. And because they're owned by the same company, if you get their rewards card, it will work. It will be valid and you'll be accumulating points for both Bally's and Caesars. So if you, whether you gamble or not, or just spend money there, whether it be at the different uh, convenience stores and food venues, shows, whatever it is, uh, see if you can uh, get points, uh, pay with your, uh, show with your rewards card, and definitely when you stay there uh, and in their accommodations in the hotel, see if you can get reward points for that. But I know for sure, Bally's and Caesars are the same, basically the same company. So you should be able to kind of like uh, consolidate your points there and get a little bit more bang for your buck with your, uh, with your rewards points. The other thing I wanted to mention is, as far as entertainment, they all have uh, shows, venues, so you have to look it up. Obviously, now, summer of 2020, you know, these shows may not be around at the moment, but I'm sure in the future they'll come back. And also, too, the movie theater experience. You know, if you like going to the movies and you kind of want to still do that, at least one of the nights that you're there, definitely you can do that at the Tropicana. The Tropicana has a fantastic IMAX theater experience, and it has a very large IMAX. Some IMAX theaters are kind of like the smaller variety, the IMAX in the Tropicana is pretty large. I don't know if it's the official biggest one that they have, but it's pretty large. Look it up on the website. You're gonna think you're gonna see that it's a pretty nice theater. So it's an IMAX theater in the Tropicana, a real theater that shows first run movies. Obviously, right now, you know you have to look into that. They may not be uh, operating like they used to, but it's there. So when things get back to normal, you got the movie theater experience in these in these resorts, which are just minutes away from each other even if you're just walking. And you have dining, you have gambling if you like that, you have just a lot of area, literally a lot of expansive areas to walk around, explore, including in Caesars, you have access to this area that is like an, a pier that jets out into the ocean and you can walk on the inside of it. And it's like a, a, a mall, but it's a pier that has, that's that's enclosed by glass windows and you can walk into basically over the ocean and look out the windows and see the sand, see the ocean. And you're, this is all by you being on the inside. You don't have to be outside. And what's pretty awesome about this is that in the winter I have walked on this pier, which is enclosed, fully enclosed, and you could see the snow, if it is snowing, you could see the snow covering the sand covering some of the water, and it's just really cool to be able to enjoy the beach view, but still be inside in the dead of winter. It's an awesome experience. Uh, obviously, it's just as good in the summer with the summer vibes, and you don't have to be outside. You can be inside, full air conditioning in this, in this, uh, in this pier. And by the way, air conditioning everywhere, it's great. Uh, you don't have to worry about people smoking too much. There are designated places where people smoke, so you don't have to worry about that. They're clearly marked. Uh, there are some spots, depending on where you walk, that the smoke can get in there 
uh, in a spot that is kind of on the border of a designated smoking area, but for the most part, you should be able to find areas that are clean, uh, good air quality, cool in the summer, warm in the winter, fantastic experience. Go online, price out a little getaway, a little weekend getaway, and if you really wanna save money, price out uh, a weekday getaway. So if you could do a weekday getaway, some of these rooms are like close to $50 a night, depending on where you stay, for example, Bally's, or maybe a little more expensive, depending on where you stay, such as uh, Caesars, or maybe even Tropicana, but these are great deals. Check them out, go online, see what, they, what it's gonna cost you, plug in some dates. You don't have to talk to any travel agents or anything like that. You can just do it really quick on the computer, see and plan out a vacation, see what it will cost, and give it a shot. These vacations are, these vacations are a lot of fun. And again, depending on how far away you live from these places, you might be able to save a lot of money also on traveling there if you can just drive there. Uh, and be there pretty quick. You might be able to even go there, if you live really close, you might be able to go there for the day and come back just to check it out, see if you like it. But again, take a look at these casino resorts. They're not just for gamblers. And I think that if you go and if you're a person that is healthy and active and you like walking, you might like walking around these places because there's a lot of room to roam around and explore. So with that said, guys, hope you got something out of this video and I will see you in the next one. Take care and be safe out there.